If you're looking for coins for FIFA 17 Mobile, the new FIFA have got you covered for the previous version and the newer version as well. Use the code TVM to get yourself a discount at the checkout. Link is in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome to the first episode in a road to glory on FIFA Mobile. The new FIFA Mobile. Not quite out yet. Another few days for the, the masses. But obviously there are ways to get around it and I've got myself the game early. So... We are Team TVM with the Welsh kit, Welsh badge. We haven't really got anyone of note in the squad right now. This is a brand new account on a brand new device uh, that I've decided to record. Basically because a few of you were asking in the comment section. I said, uh, you know, I might do it, might not. And then obviously the overwhelming uh, response really from yesterday's video. Thank you very much for the support on yesterday's video, by the way. Very much appreciated. We are going to go a goal up here in the uh, 16th minute against Springstar. And obviously, if you're unfamiliar with the way this works, I did a video on it yesterday, not like a tutorial necessarily, as Hooper picks up the ball, and I think he puts that into the back of the net. I actually recorded, I've recorded a lot of gameplay. I've got like three or four episodes backed up, so I'm probably going to do a double upload either today or tomorrow of this, because I want to try and get as much of this out as possible. And honestly, I'm enjoying this so much, I, I don't think I'm going to just stop doing it. I'm just going to keep uploading it, regardless of whether you guys get bored or not. I think we'll maybe we'll try and like spice it up a little bit by doing some things here or there obviously you can't buy FIFA points at the moment so well there are ways to get around that but at the moment just normally through Google Play I can't buy FIFA points so I'm gonna wait until the game is officially out to do that and then maybe do some sort of pack opening I'll probably keep it separate to the road to glory but just to spice it up a little bit I might do some pack openings there's a lot to this game though there is a lot to do and there's a lot to collect and there's a lot of players to unlock so I think it's gonna be a long series but I'm enjoying it a lot, so I don't think I, I see myself stopping anytime soon. So we win the first half there 2-0. Uh, we're an amateur three. So obviously if you don't know way, the way this works, you play one half of football and then you send it over to the other guy. Okay, And then the other guy plays the same half of football. There's no defending involved. It's all attacking. And then obviously once you've both done the first half, it comes back to you. You do the second half, he does the second half, and then whatever the score is at the end is the winner, essentially. If it goes to a draw, I believe you go into extra time. I haven't had to do that yet, so hopefully we won't find that out, to be honest. We go 2-0 up here against uh, Jimenez 10C, which is, uh, which is decent. You know, we haven't got the best of sides. We're coming up against people who are slightly higher level than we are. I played across their lovely little sweaty finish uh, it's not really because I just missed but uh, I, it's really difficult to to cut the keeper up in this like you can do it but then the ball doesn't really want to go to the player that you intend the pass to go to it, it's really really confusing it's really annoying at times as well ball comes off the bar there from uh, was it f f I can't remember that guy's name is it Frasier I don't know Fonguk can't say that guy's name either plays it in to um some other, I need to buy some players that I can actually pronounce the name of because at the moment I'm just going that guy to that guy. And I think we win that one 2 0 in the first half, so obviously that gets sent over. It's going to be difficult for me to record this. Um, it, it's, it's a tricky one because obviously I don't want to record everything I do, but I do want to record everything I do. If I record everything I do, you'll literally get like half an hour episodes or even five, ten minute videos a day. It's going to be crazy. So I'm going to have to cut some things out. Um, there's just too many games to be played, basically. You can play quite literally as many games as you want. Faustin, that's the guy's name. He goes round the outside here, and an easy save from the goalkeeper. I believe this, was, um, this wasn't in the attack mode option or section. This was in the live events that I could play this one. As we miss an open goal there, would you Adam and Eve it? I'm not quite sure why some... Games show up in live events and what a goal that is by the way. What an absolute peach of a finish I'm even gonna show you a replay of that because it was so Brilliant and here we go. Here comes the replay look at that control ball watched it all the way down left foot into the far corner bang Thank you very much, and he's on it again there with a great save from the goalkeeper But yeah, I've decided I'm not gonna show you everything I'm gonna show you the completion of games as we go 2-0 up with uh, Hooper um, away from home as well. Don't think that makes any difference whatsoever, but it's it's nice to say. So yeah, I'm not going to show you everything. I'm going to show you complete completed games. Maybe I'll start some games and I won't show you the highlights of those. And then maybe when they send their turn back, I'll show you the highlight of that. We'll see. So we're in the live event section, and we're not a, an extremely high level or anything. So we are going to have to do things like this. Um, you can avoid the red zones to earn team crest tokens. Now team crest tokens can either be sold 
or they can be put towards uh, completing a plan. And obviously, for every plan you complete, you either unlock a higher trophy so you can put into a bigger plan, or you can unlock a player or a pack or something along those lines. So that's what we're going to be trying to do here. And this was insanely difficult. I had to avoid all of the um, the red and try and run round it all uh, but before that line that's chasing me basically caught up with me. And Faustin isn't the fastest of people. His ball control isn't the greatest. So this was a massive challenge. I finally found a pattern that suited me and that was easy enough to get round. And we managed to get to the end there with uh, two attempts remaining. And we pick up the, the pack. Now the pack, I believe, only contained a crest. Like it basically said at the beginning, it would give me a team crest. Um... I either show you that at the end or I don't show you at all. It's completely irrelevant though, to be fair, the team crests, because I genuinely don't think I'm going to be able to gain enough to unlock anything. Uh, because th they want like 10 crests to get this trophy and then you need the like 20 of these trophies in order to get this. I'm going to play the game a lot, but it's going to take its toll, I think, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. So... I'll give you updates. In fact, I'll open the packs at the end of this or toward the end of this episode, but I'm going to give you updates if I unlock anything off camera. I'm going to try and record most things, to be fair, so there won't be many off camera moments, but um, yeah. We've gone into another attack mode game, trying to get some, uh, some goals on the ball. We've already scored one. It's an annoying this part of the game really like I love the gameplay and I know a lot of you yesterday were saying now you should try last year's gameplay because it's so much better than this one and it might be but I haven't played last year so I'm just going off what I feel here and I do very much enjoy the gameplay and I love the fact that I don't have to defend I know a lot of people would were asking or were annoyed that there's no like full game option well, I get it I get it but I play the normal FIFA obviously you know the full version the console version and, and this is like a nice change of pace you know this is like a nice pick up and play kind of thing and the, the one thing that does annoy me a little bit is some people either take so long to do turns that the timer runs out or they don't do their turn. So the games are just left there and then they just expire, which is slightly frustrating. So we do have a pro pack to open, which we're going to do now. And then we have that other pack that we got from the challenge, which I should have done first, really, because that was the most anticlimactic pack ever. We got a Schalke token in a pack, which is really good to get. Uh, we got uh, a boner. Of course, uh, Fernando, Fernan Fernando, I don't know how to say that guy's name, Brebbles and Zwave. Uh, so those uh, players will be updated, which means those one, the, be the better ones basically will go into our starting lineup. The other ones will go into our reserves that we won't use. This is the uh, the pack, the hero pack that we got for doing that uh, little challenge. And we got the LA Galaxy Crest. So now we have that and the Schalke one, of course. So we're going to put them to good use in good time. This is the team right now. This is the attack. If you don't know the way it works, you fill up a position with each player. So I've got one left wing, one right wing, three strikers, etc. And then whatever formation you pick, they pick the best player for that position to go into the formation. So, for instance, we've got Mason from Tottenham we had in a starter pack. If I pick a, 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 a formation with a CDM, Mason goes in there automatically because he's the highest rated CDM. But if I pick a, pick a formation without a CDM, obviously he doesn't play. So we need to try and find a way to get our best players in a certain formation. So when I go out and buy players or even get them in packs, I need to look to see if they all mix together. If they don't, for the time being, I'm going to probably have to sell them or obviously look to buy players in positions that fit with Mason and the striker, of course, because those are my two highest rated players right now. That's going to be the end of the first episode. There is going to be another episode very shortly, either today, later today, probably will be later today, to be honest, or there'll be a double upload tomorrow. If you're enjoying this series and you want to see something specific that I'm not showing you or you want me to do it a different way, let me know in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Thank you very much for watching and the support on the channel, of course, and always until the next time, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.